Welcome to Board Game Archaeologist. We play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today we're looking at Battleship. Battleship, a pen and paper game from World War I. Milton Bradley came out with this in 1967 in these beautiful plastic cases that I think we all remember. The game is for ages 8 to adult and obviously for two players. The objective of the game is to sink all of your opponent's ships. The pieces to the game are these awesome plastic cases. You have five ships, and you have your misses are white, and your hits are red. Essentially what you have to do is you kind of go through this grid, through A through J and 1 through 10, and you guess a singular spot, and this kind of goes back and forth between the red and blue player. So I'll go, is there a ship on C5? C5. And yes, he hit my battleship. And then it would be his turn to fire at me. And I'll say F8. And that would be a miss. And so I would put a white spot down on that spot. And I would put a white spot up on top to show where I'm missing on his ocean floor. So I'm sure that we've all kind of played a version of this before. But one interesting thing in the box was this idea of like a salvo rules. Where like, instead of going one by one, you fire five missiles simultaneously in a row. And then the person has to tell you which ones were misses and which ones were hits. And in the board game rules, they specifically mention, you have to mention which ship it hits. And where it hit. So they'll say, so I would have to say at C5, you did a hit. So you would know where it was. Now there's an advanced salvo rule too, where you do the exact same thing. You do five at a time until one of the ships are sunk. And then you go down to four and then three and then two and then one. And that's true for both salvo rules. But the advanced one is you don't say which one of the five ones hit. So you, you need a piece of paper and a pencil just to keep track on those five until you do more research to find out who hit and who missed. Yeah, and like which ones were misses. Because, you know, if, if you have one A1 through, you know, E1, then like he can say that you've hit, but you don't actually know which one of those salvos hit. I'm honestly not sure I have enough white dots for that kind of <laughs> rule game. <laughs> but, you know, so what was your favorite thing about Battleship? My favorite thing is it's tried and true. We've been playing it all of our lives. I've got a number of copies of it. One of my favorite things, my 67 box, I think is one of the most sexist boxes in <laughs> gaming history. Having the two men playing and the women back here are uh, washing dishes. In 71, they changed their look, where it's a boy and a girl just playing the game. So it was a little more even, Stephen. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's funny that the art's always been like that, and it's been one of my favorite pieces just because it's a painted cover, and it's got that kind of realm of fun to it. Um, otherwise, it's tried and true. And I, I love plastic stuff, and this is a plastic case, and it's awesome. Yeah, and for me, it's like similarly to Hangman. It's just one of those things that I've played passingly for years and years and years. And, again, yeah, tried and true, where I kind of have fun every single time. There's right. always something to have fun about it. And reading the rules gave us some new ideas with the salvo rules, which changed a lot of things to it. Yeah, and I never thought of something like that. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. But more importantly, check us out on Facebook on our group and page. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.